Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my channel Study Biology Concepts with Shell Jha. I am Shell and today we will discuss linkage and recombination along with gene mapping as well as I will discuss few diagrams which are given in 12th class books which will help the students of class 12, medical interest, BSc, MSc and other students. I have also uploaded videos regarding this concept where I have talked about types of crossing over, types of linkage, consequences of crossing over, coupling and repulsion which is present in the playlist. You can go and check them. Linkage and recombination are two contradictory terms. They are opposite to each other. Linkage was first observed by Saunders, Punnett and Bakesell by their experiments in sweet pea where they crossed blue and long pollen containing plant with red and round pollen containing plant. It was explained by Thomas Hunt Morgan by their experiments in Drosophila. Recombination is also called as crossing over and these both phenomena was first observed or is seen during prophase 1 of meiosis 1 of meiosis which takes place during gamete formation during sexual reproduction. During sexual reproduction gametes are produced by the process of gametogenesis and gametes are formed by the process of meiosis. Meiosis is having two stages, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Meiosis 1 is having prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1, telophase 1. And recombination is happening or is take, takes place during prophase 1. And linkage was, was first also observed during prophase 1. And prophase 1 has stages leptotin, zygotin, pecaitin, diplotin and diagonesis. Let's proceed. Let's suppose these two are the homologous chromosomes. This is a pair of homologous chromosomes. This is the picture after S phase because this chromosome has one DNA which has undergone replication during S phase as interphase takes place before meiosis 1 and interphase has G1, S and G2 and during S phase replication of DNA takes place. So this chromosome will have two molecules of DNA which are present in these two chromatids. This is having one molecule, this is having another molecule. And this is having only single molecule which has replicated as a result of which this chromosome has two chromatids. Similarly, this chromosome is also having two chromatids. Let's suppose there are three genes present, gene 1, gene 2 and gene 3. Uh, there are many genes, many alleles present but we are considering three genes only. Gene 1 is having allele capital A small a, gene 2 is having capital B small b and gene C 3 is having capital C small c. As you all know, these two are homologous chromosomes, so they will have the same genes at the same locus. This, this locus will have gene 1, this point will have gene 2 and this point will have gene 3. Uh, I have uh, assumed the alleles to be in capital A and small a. They can be either capital A, capital A, small a, small a, capital A, small a, any combination can be present in nature. But I have assumed over here as in upper case, our uh, dominant alleles over here and recessive alleles over here. The gene 1 and gene 2 is having a large distance in between them whereas gene 2 and gene 3 are present very close to one another. As these are the two replicated forms, so uh, this one will also have allele A, allele A, B, capital B, capital B, capital C, capital C. These two will have small a, small a, small b, small b, small c, small c. During leptotene of prophase 1, the chromosomes they coil and assume this or take this shape during zygote a protein complex is formed in between homologous chromosomes which helps in pairing or coming close of these chromosomes and this process of synapsis takes place during zygote due to formation of a protein complex which is called as synaptonemal complex i will discuss this in detail in molecular mechanism of crossing over in my future video Synaptonemal complex is a protein complex which is formed in between these two chromosomes which is like a zip. A zip helps in joining the two parts. Suppose there is a zip in between. So it will join these two parts. Similarly, the synaptonemal complex helps in pairing or coming close of the homologous chromosomes. Then the cell enters into pecaitin. During pecaitin, recombination or crossing over takes place. Recombination or crossing over is the exchange of genetic material, exchange of segments between non-sister chromatids of homologous pairs. These two homologous pairs are similar to one another as they are having the same genes but 
these two chromatids are more similar or the similarity in between these two chromatids is more as compared to this chromatid or this chromatid to this chromatid or this chromatid to this chromatid this chromatid this chromatid this chromatid so these two chromatids are called as sister chromatids as these have the replicated forms of dna so they are more similar crossing over can take place between any two non sister chromatids that is suppose this or this this or this 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 any non sister chromatids can undergo crossing over it mostly takes place between these two internal non sister chromatids and it can take place at any point let's suppose a gene is present over here so it can take place over here or over here or over here or over here it can take place at more than one positions i'm considering over here at only one position and crossing over is a random process which means there is no fixed pattern that uh, it will take place only between gene 5 or gene 6 it can take place in between any gene or any chromosome the thing is it will take place between two non sister chromatids only so let let suppose crossing over is taking place over here as a result of which the section of this black chromatid will cut itself and will move and join itself with this blue one as a result of which this blue will have a small segment from black and this black will have a small segment from blue so small a will move to this one and capital a will move to this one so the new combination is over here as a result of which we will get capital a small a capital a and small a previously it was small a small a but now we are having capital a small a so the combination of alleles have changed because of this exchange this exchange has taken place because of this synaptonemal complex and because of this exchange or crossing over we are getting new combination of alleles and this crossing over has taken place in gene 1 between these two alleles crossing over cannot take place in gene 2 or gene 3 because they are so so close to one another or they are physically so linked to one another that they cannot be separated by crossing over that is gene 2 and gene 3 are linked to one another see over here the previous combination was capital a capital b capital c capital a capital b capital c small a small b small c but the new combination is small a capital b capital c because small a has moved to this one over here the new combination is capital a small b small c as a result of crossing over this a and b that is gene 1 and gene 2 they have separated from one another they are having new combination their alleles have separated as a result of which we are having new combinations which means gene 1 and gene 2 are away from each other so crossing over can separate them but gene 2 and gene 3 are so close that crossing over cannot separate them so whenever gametes will be formed the alleles their alleles will move together that is b and c b and c small b small c small b small c they cannot be separated over here capital a and capital b got separated but capital b and capital c cannot be separated small b small c cannot be separated because they are very close to each other when uh, gametes will be formed this chromatid will enter into one gamete will be uh, a b c this one will enter into another gamete which will have small a small b small c this will enter into one gamete which will have capital a small b small c this will enter into fourth gamete small b small a small b small c so this gene 2 and 3 always moves together because they are very close to each other that is gene 2 and 3 are showing the process of linkage so linkage is the process in which genes always move together during gamete formation and crossing over is the process which separates the alleles of the genes which lead to formation of new varieties so this is the reason why sexual reproduction leads to variation or meiosis leads to variation or crossing over leads to variation because new types of alleles will be formed when gametes will be produced as a result of which variation will be formed after understanding the difference between linkage and recombination let's see types of linkage this concept is very important for all of you linkage is of three types in first type the distance between the two genes is very less it is so less that they cannot be separated any time because of crossing over over here the distance between gene 2 and gene 3 was so so less that they cannot be separated as a result of which they always travel together and form gametes 
so the gamete will have the same combination as that of the parent the parent had combination capital b capital c capital b capital c small b small c small c small, small b small c this same combination will be will be seen in gametes also with respect to gene 2 and gene 3 so this case is called as completely linked gene or these genes are called as completely linked genes because their distance is very very less and they will always always travel together the second case is that of incompletely linked genes it is the case where the distance between the two genes is less but it is not so less which means they can have crossing over sometimes to understand this let's suppose an individual is having uh, is producing gametes 100 times during his lifetime so 100 times meiosis will take place during his lifetime during these 100 times suppose gene 2 and gene 3 are linked that is the distance between them is less but it is not so less so during these 100 times of meiosis at least 20 times of meiosis will have crossing over with which will separate the alleles of gene 2 and gene 3 so in case of incompletely linked genes few cases of meiosis have crossing over but maximum cases of meiosis do not have crossing over as a result of which maximum times the alleles move together but few times they can be separated as a result of which few gametes can have different combinations that is few gametes can have small b with capital C and capital B with small c but maximum times they will have the same combination as that of the parent this is called as incompletely linked genes the third case is that of unlinked genes unlinked genes are the genes which are physically apart from each other and crossing over can take place in between them that is suppose gene 1 and gene 2 over here they are physically apart from each other so they have the chances of crossing over they can have crossing over but here also the chances is 50 percent because they may have they may not have because there is no fixed pattern and it is not necessary that all the genes which are physically apart from each other will have crossing over or they will be separated by crossing over they may have they may not have so if suppose the individual is having 100 times gametes formation and uh, during 100 times so 100 times meiosis will take place during these 100 times 50 times uh, crossing over can separate gene 1 and gene 2 because they are unlinked but in case of incompletely linked genes, out of these 100 times of meiosis, only 20 times uh, they will be separated or crossing over can take place. And in case of completely linked genes, 100 times they will not be separated. So over here 0% chance, over here few percentage and over here 50% of chances is there that they will be separated by the process of crossing over. So the gametes which will have the same combination of alleles as that of parents will, call, will be called as parental gametes. The gametes will have which will have new combinations like these two uh, chromatids will form new combination of gametes, so a new combination of alleles in gametes. So the gametes which will be produced by these two chromatids will be called as recombinant gametes. But the gametes produced by these two chromatids will be called as parental gametes. So the gametes produced by the uh, by the chromatids which have the same allele as that of parent are called as parental gametes. Different allele from that of parent are called as recombinant gametes. And when recombinant gametes fuse from each, with each other, a recombinant offspring will be produced. When, re when parental gametes fuse with, fuse with each other, we get a parental offspring. So we have seen what is linkage and recombination, types of linkage, what is a parental gamete, what is a recombinant gamete. All these things we have covered today. In the next lecture, we will try to understand the diagrams which are given under these topics in various books of class 12. And in the third video, we will see what is gene mapping. And with this, we will wrap these concepts and we will enter into the concept of sex determination. With this, we come to the end of this video. Please hit the like button, share with your friends, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, comment in the comment box. Thank you for watching.